Now, a kettlebell press, yeah, I've heard some people be critical of it, but... What? So, <laughs> I just wanted to give us some credit, like, hey, yeah, I like that idea, man. We're all about kettlebells. So, if you are into kettlebells, then like the video and consider subscribing. Madfit was requested in the YouTube comment section. If you have any workout or any celebrity or any coach that you want my reaction and my feedback to, then let me know in the comments. Now, I see a couple of things. He's doing a so called flow where you combine multiple exercises together while i do like this idea anybody can use bad form with light weights please keep this in mind this is a great statement from the legendary ed cone now what i don't like about this pass through is many people do not have a kinesthetic sense for the lower back and then they start bending their back with additional load may cause problems other than that i like the press and i like the way how she grabs it and it's fairly a an advanced exercise but because you have to press and at the same time going down an overhead squat now can you do this of course if you want my opinion on it grab a heavier, heavier kettlebell and you can grab it like this because it's a great variation to a certain extent i think and then you just do this okay you do an overhead squat and then you separate the exercise and do a press now something that i always see i mentioned this a couple of times the death of a thousand cuts philosophy if you have done thousands of reps with kettlebells you're careful now what i always see and what i'm kind of missing and i always have to stress this respect the weight i do not care whether it's an eight kilo or a 48 kilo you would never grab a heavy kettlebell like this because this is detrimental to your back so make sure even if it's a light one you grab it and pick it up safely now of course you can do this a curl then you drop the kettlebell you go down into a burpee then you pull your legs in of course you can do this but you don't need a kettlebell for this stand up do burpees do some form of a mountain climber and be safe with it this additional curl yeah i'm just i know i'm just so fascinated with kettlebells that i want everybody to use them the way they're intended to be used but hey if you're having fun with those baby curls and baby weights you go ahead but i don't think you need it so some form of a row and then deadlift well i actually like the combo and i like a form i mean the, the back is straight it's totally fine yeah so she goes down in a romanian deadlift or a hang deadlift and then she rose the weight can you do this yes but i would do it a little bit differently i would uh do an alternating row set the kettlebell down because well this may target your biceps a little bit more with that grip it may be that a heavier kettlebell will be very tough to handle but of course again you can do it but just because you can doesn't mean you should that's what dan john said so your side lunges yeah well I'm particular, particularly not a huge fan of side lunges. I rather enjoy the reverse lunge because it's so easy to do for most people. And we always have to think about the fact that many people are having some kind of knee problems and this may exacerbate the knee problems. I'm not saying that you shouldn't bulletproof your knees and make sure that you do exercises that build your knees, but I'm, I just don't like it as much. But maybe it's just preference if you're safe and if you're having fun. A lot of people are also tight in the hips. And depending on your hip structure, it may be that a side lunge is not the perfect thing for you to do. But hey, of course, you can do it. It's just my personal preference. I rather prefer reverse lunges. Now, with kettlebell press, yeah, I've heard some people be critical of it. But what? <laughs> I just wanted to give him some credit like hey yeah I like that idea man create some presses and then you do some yeah again again you can also raise your legs you can also uh, raise your neck you can also swing the belt around and you can do so many things <laughs> well I like to press because for many people I would say to a certain extent for people who want to work their chest a little bit more, push-ups are a great addition to kettlebells. Push-ups are always it's one of the greatest exercises you can do. You have to do it properly, of course. And a kettlebell press is something that I like. 
Um, the weight has to be heavy enough. You have to grip the kettlebell. I like the way how uh, Bill Ash, for example, does it. I do it that way as well, where you grab it either in the hand insertion or you go through the kettlebell window and then grab the bell. Um, but it's uh, a, I would say, preference the way you grab it. But this knee raising thing, leave it away. You don't need it, just work on your chest. So that's it, that's Matt Fitz program. I'm missing the most differentiating factor that defines the kettlebell and that is ballistic movements such as a swing or a clean or a snatch. Does it mean that you have to incorporate it every time you do a workout? No, but in this case, I'm just, this is my assumption. Of course, I may be wrong, but I believe many of these fitness influencers choose exercises who don't have this complicated and complex nature such as a swing a clean or a snatch or a jerk because they understand how complicated the exercise is yet they just want to post something and be like okay let's just pick up the kettlebell and treat it like so many do treat it like a dumbbell yes you can do it again i want to emphasize this but you're missing out on these powerful aspects and the powerful component that the kettlebell is and so many people be like okay let's buy a kettlebell and they never use it the way it's intended uh, to be used and then you rather do body weight stuff or buy a dumbbell okay you don't have to use a kettlebell to do that stuff so i'm missing the ballistics but hey you know that's what it is with many of these influencers so no disrespect to matt fit when, when you like to work out you do it just because you can but but please remember this just because you can doesn't mean you should 90 days of kettlebells is an online workout course for beginners who want to train at home lose weight and achieve lasting results without wasting time and money with crash diets and unused gym memberships. The program works as follows. You will do three kettlebell workouts per week that gradually increase in difficulty. You'll also build three powerful eating habits that have proven successful in our coaching. As the name implies, the program lasts 90 days and you will have lifelong access after purchase. We also include live accountability sessions where you will publicly state your goals. Psychology shows us that if we make our goals public, our adherence to the process and the program increases dramatically. If you have been struggling to put together an elaborate kettlebell workout system while trying to lose weight, then 90 days of kettlebells is for you. The price of 90 days of kettlebells is 59 US dollars per month for three months, and you can save 20% with a one-time payment of 147 US dollars. We'll open registration only to a small number of new clients. Join the waiting list now to get access 24 hours before the general public. Link is in the description.